G'day. So I got it done and it looks pretty good. I want to start this video um, midway through the night time because of the lighting. I just want to show the lighting off. Usually I try to not get it in the night, um, but it'll be day within a few minutes. So um, I want, th this turned out really good in the night because the, the, the lights and the signs on it. So I'm going to go through um, what it is. It's a turbo fuel setup and right now I'm making 1170 turbo fuel and 480 of that turbo fuel is getting packaged and put onto the train station and the rest is going to get taken to a power station which I have not even started yet. Alright so I put a video out previously asking for advice on what I should do and um, I really uh, appreciated everyone's input. I really, I read all the comments, I really enjoy that. Um, one of them in particular was from, I think, The Dark One. And um, he said, shall I go back down the other way, but curve it, um, curve it the other way. And um, that's what I ended up going with. There were a lot of good ideas there, but some of them just didn't work out. But again, thanks everyone for your comments. I really, I really enjoy that. Um, it's one of the things I really like about the um, Satisfactory community. All right, let's get into um, what I've done here. So, uh, first of all, I was really inspired by Stin Archie's channel. He's done a, um, a really awesome project he calls Eden Project. And he's really tried to build into the environment. And it looks really cool. And if you haven't seen that, you just gotta see it. So I'll leave the, um, the link to that. So what, that'll be in the comments. What I, ca I came here and I thought, wow, this is really beautiful area. I want to do something similar to what he did in the Eden Project, but I want to make turbo fuel. Um, I wanted to build into the environment and, and stuff like that. Um, and then the first thing I realized was I needed like 40 refineries. And, I, and then I, st I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just build these and see how we go. And then it was, wasn't long before I realized this ain't happening. Um, so it's not, it didn't. It started off, I wanted to build into the environment over here and build a beautiful thing, but um, yeah, it kind of evolved. But it turned out pretty cool. I'm gonna probably try to do something similar to what Stinachi did somewhere else. All right, so let's go have a look. I'm using all the oil here. Um, there's three nodes, uh, two normal, two, uh, what is it? Two, whatever it is. Look, let, we don't care about the numbers, do we? I'm using it all. Um, I'm turning it all into uh, this stuff, heavy oil residue, and then we're and then we're using uh, the rest of it. Anyway, let's let's go have a look at it. So I did kind of build into the environment here. Um, the lighting is a bit bugged out, as you can as you can tell. There, there is a few lighting issues, um, as you can see. But anyway, so this is the polymer resin getting made into plastic for containers. Now I, I curved these refineries. Uh, just by hand, I just hand placed these ones. And then I built like a walkway um, up and around it. And that's pretty damn cool. And then um, it's all like in the, using the beams to hold it up. And then up here, so this is making the polymer resin. And then up here I built a kind of thing. I wanted to build this into the environment and that's, I curved these up and around these constructors. It kind of, it kind of lines up with the actual path that goes up the side of the, the, uh, the, the big rock thing here. But that turned out all right, that turned out. I'm really enjoying building free form rather than building onto the grid. It's just giving me a lot of freedom. So over there is, uh, there's a, a sulfur node that we went and got. Um, just got some neat little uh, stuff going over there to grab it. And that's sulfur for the turbo fuel. All right, yes. Cool. Now, so, uh, this little pipe work here, I wanted to, I was just playing around, I wanted to do it like a spiral, uh, but it turned out that it didn't, <laughs> it didn't look that great. Uh, it looks a bit weird from some angles, but it looks really cool from other angles. So what I might do is, because I did a spiral and coming down, it, it looks a bit strange, but what we'll do is uh, we'll do another spiral with pipes at some other stage. 
Okay, so under here, what, one thing about the concrete, this coat of concrete, look at the reflection. It's awesome. Like, it it used to be, it used to be that just concrete undersides of buildings would just be really boring and, and whatnot, but now with this coated concrete with reflections of water and lighting, it just, it just looks incredible. Um, so you can really make even just the underside of buildings really pop out with this reflection kind of stuff. It's really cool. Um, so with the pipes coming down, I, I use the noodle. Oh, that's the other thing. So noodle pipes. I'm pretty sure that noodle um, is a new option with pipes. You always used to do the noodle with, um, what's it called? The hyper tubes. But I think it's update five where you can now do noodle with, with pipes. Um, I could be wrong there. Let me know if I'm wrong, but it's new to me anyway. Um, so I was, I was playing around with a bit of noodle stuff, and um, I, I kind of wanted to like these are like ribs going up, like like. So I kind of I don't know. These are kind of like ribs or whatever. Yeah. The other thing is I don't know if anyone's really mentioned or talked about this new. This is actually new in the world itself. This kind of like um, I don't know what you'd call that girl, but like sci-fi kind of mechanized uh, I don't know but yeah that's new so it might be something to do with the the lore or the storyline of the game but we'll find out but it looks cool anyway see this kind of hexagonal kind of stuff around the world all right moving on to the uh the spicy part um this is where I'm packaging 480 turbo fuel and it actually worked out that I had enough to get 10 packaged um, just regular fuel for the jetpack. So in this train station, uh, this is where it's all happening. This back part here is the packaging. So we are loaded up, we've got 480 turbo fuel per minute. And um, this is um, the jetpack fuel. It stopped at the moment because um, I am sinking it, so it keeps going. But anyway, yes, uh, cool. So daytime's coming up. Um, I'm a bit all over the place, but look at this, look at this reflection in the water here. How good is that? Um, with, off these, off these sign lights. Um, we'll talk about the sign lights in a second, but yeah. Um, the graphics in this game, um, have just, they're just really good. Cool. Alright, so, I'm taking the turbo fuel away. Um, and this is another thing I wanted to mention. Is this bugged? Can anyone let me know? I've got 2,400... Uh, it's like, so it's full here, as you can see, but the, the graphics indicate that it's only half full. I don't know if that's a bug, um, and I've never actually put, and I've never seen anyone else actually put straight up turbo fuel into a train station, because most, well, all the times I've done turbo fuel, and any other turbo fuel um, thing that I see, you generally have the power plant at where you're doing it, but for me, this this build, I'm, I've got another plan. I'm gonna train the turbo fuel to another place in the map and have a, have a power station somewhere else. But I wonder if this is, is, is bugged. Anyway, moving on. Radio. So yeah, nothing fancy here, making some fuel out of the heavy oil resin. Um, I, I really got um, attention to detail here, I painted everything, so even the power poles are painted and, and even the belts themselves. Alright, so we're sinking stuff. Um, what I want to do with the um, packaged turbo fuel is a, is a drone setup, so I don't know, can I see it from here? There's a, there's, a, there's a nuclear node somewhere and I want to mess around with stuff, anyway, that's another. I'm digressing. Rightio, so this, this thing. This looks pretty good, all right, if I do say so myself. It turned out quite well. Now, I was setting this up, and and, and, and I watched, uh, look, lots of people have done it. Lots of people have done this stuff with the signs, so I'm not gonna claim it was my idea. But um, the one that I was watching, like a, uh, a Drawing Chaos video, and he had some nice red strips around his, his factory, and it really made it pop. So what I did was I, I put the signs out around this bottom one, and I was like, I wonder if that looks good. And then it turns out with this reflection in the water, it does look really good. And then <laughs> that added another couple of hours work onto the thing because I had to, I had to go around every single individual pylon, place the light, and including these little ones here, and then set it to red. You know, adjust it, and then it was just Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, click. Oh, it was it. All right, it took a while, but it turned out pretty good. Radio. So all the goods that come up here, 
uh, come into this, um, and there's the belt work and distribution is underneath these as asphalt floors. I'll just have a fly up. Um, yep, we're making turbo fuel. There's 26 of these blenders. Um, so the good, the, the stuff goes in these sides, and uh, you'll see the even the attention to detail here. I've I've even painted the belts, so the sulfur belts are yellow, and the petroleum coke belts are actually black. Right, and then I've color coordinated, even painted the actual holes where the pipes go in. With the zooping, it made it a lot easier, um, but yeah. So this is it. Um, pretty, I'm pretty damn happy with this. It really, it really turned out quite well. Um, with the update five, so many good builds are gonna come out now with the um, incrementally being able to turn. Oh, here we go, we get to see him going under. Perfect. He goes under the center. It just worked out. I didn't even plan this factory to have him go under there um, It's just one of those things that worked out and the factory itself um, curves uh, it, it actually curves along like kind of with the river too it, 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 Yeah, another one of those things that just worked out All right, so what I did was uh, I came on here and again the lights are being buggy. I made these red um, but it doesn't really want to play the game. Um, so when the the uh, the Manta goes under here, he gets like a red glow on him. But I think there's a few more things that the the devs got to um, fix with the the lighting. But yeah, anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to make this video go for too long, but I've got some awesome plans coming up. Uh, what I do have to do is. Um, go back to my old save. So I won't be doing anything on this save for a while because I need to finish off that 100 turbo motors. Um, it's bugging me. I, I always said I was going to do it. So I'm going to be sorting out a massive world of train signals and things and a few more factories and I'll have that project complete, ticked off. And another reason for that is uh, a lot of that stuff's in the Northern Ocean and, I, and they're going to they're gonna change the map over in that region. Um, and to finish off the video, I'm just gonna like put my jetpack on. And I'm gonna like hop over there because this overlooks the waterfall and um, looks pretty cool. Um, with the last few, obviously they they didn't um, I didn't use the feet as before. Let's make sure I don't die here. Let's go over here. Oh great, there's a dude there. All right. Anyway, um, yeah. So it looks really cool. Look at this. Look at this, look at that. Yeah. Um, and you can actually see that, and it looks really cool at night, and you can actually see the, uh, that when you come down there on the train to the computer factory. Um, so this Northern Forest, oh, let's land on him. Oh, this Northern Forest um, with its rework. Oh, it looks really good. All right. That'll do guys. Thanks everyone. And uh, I'll catch you later.